Hello Floss Tube, it's Angie. How are you? Today is Sunday, August 19th. How did it become Sunday or August 19th already? Um, time has flown by. I got called out by Pam and uh, I actually got did not Pam, but I got called out by Steph saying asking me where I was and uh, that I needed to come back and do another Floss Tube. And school starting, so it started last week. We had a couple days and I was only there for one day of students and then I got to take my son to college and we spent the weekend with my mother-in-law. Um, I hope you'll go back and watch the Afghan, the great Afghan video we made of all of our Afghans. Um, so here is, somebody called me out and said, you need to be loving these. So here's, I'm gonna, every time that I do a video, I'll have a new Afghan on the back of my chair. So here's one that she made years ago. I don't know what the name of the stitch is. I'll have to ask her, I'll have to show and ask her. Um, I don't know it's called the Afghan I don't think it's called the Afghan stitch I don't know but one of my favorites so I've been up until now I've been watching lots of floss tube and I wrote down all the people that I've been watching so let's see I've been watching Felicity from Flissy Floss and Tina Solorio I hope I said that right and Lindy Stitches and Buckeye Stitcher and Jesse Marie and Priscilla and Chelsea and Katie the Naptime Stitcher and Artsy Marcy and Amy Loves Toads I think that and Swanky Swim is that who I watched I think so Kathy at Zoli House Michelle Bendy of course Rachel Mrs. Ven Diesel and Jan Hicks Creates and I know I watched some of Stitching by the lake. So, and then as I've, I've been doing these, I've been, every time where I sit down, I grab a piece of paper and I write down other patterns I'm supposed to, you know, put on my wish list. Primitive hair, trick or treat, fancy, black it shoes by Pineberry Lane. Prairie Schooler, Stars and Stripes. So, all these things that I'm supposed to look at and do. But school has started. Oh, I love being back. It's fine. We're back. It's fine. But that means I can't stitch as much. And it means I floss tube. I won't floss tube as much. So kind of bummed. But it'll all be good. It'll all be good. I'll make it work. So let's start with, let's start with finishes because it's right here. So um, when I went to the Midwest Cross Stitchers Retreat, we got this. And then... Um, Michelle said, oh my gosh, I'm the last one to get this done, and I haven't I hadn't started, so I got busy and I got it done, so here it is. And I used Michelle's, sorry, I'm shaking the table, I used Michelle's conversion, so it says Midwest 2017, and when you open the box, I didn't put the, I didn't put the cording around, I was like, my big hand's in there trying to get that done, I just left it like that, so I got to figure out how to, something to do, because I got this long tail hanging here, but I'm excited, I'm happy with it. So that's the only finish I have. I have lots of things I need to finish, like FFO. My pile's over here. Um, it seems like this summer should have been like relaxed and I should have had all the time to do all the things because I my son wasn't doing baseball, so I should have had tons of time and I didn't. We were busy. We were we were very, very busy. So um, I've been working on Let Freedom Ring. I know that I've totally screwed this up. I, I own it, I'm perfectly fine with it. I don't care that I messed it up. Um, I got very scared doing Pennsylvania and did not think it was gonna fit. So I kinda went rogue and made it like you know how I felt it should be. I should've just followed the pattern. Should've trusted Lila. So now this is gonna be off, but you know what? I don't know which one of my boys, which one of who's going to get it someday. I don't know that they're going to care that I'm off in rogue care. Um, I got the flowers done here and got this done here. I'm not super thrilled with how the black covered on there. I'm, I don't know. I might look at it later, especially the R. It, you know, it's only one strand of floss, but it doesn't look very good. I, I don't know. When I look at it myself, I think it looks like there's, um, like it's too thin. I'm almost tempted to rip it out and put in 
use two strands, but we'll see. So I've been working, working, working on here, but I haven't been working on this as much because, because I've made mistakes on he in here, it's my, I really need to concentrate piece and school starting and I don't know how I'll be feeling in the evening, like will I really want to have something I'm concentrating on. So that might hide for a little bit so I can get other things finished because I have a large whip pile, way too large. So I've been working on the Snowfly Diaries months and August is downstairs and I'll show it next time. Sorry, it's finished and it's hanging up. I got it fully finished after August, but that's okay. Um, so here's September. We I got some car stitching done this weekend and some stitching at my mother-in-law's house because we took our son to college. I told my husband as we were driving home, I'm like, you know, if you keep going to Iowa, we just like drove across Illinois, I'd have this done. He said, no, we gotta get home. So it's coming along, I'm very excited. I love these owls. I just think those owls are adorable. Adorable. So, and I'm glad that it's not like the very end of the month that I'm scrambling like crazy to get it done, that I'm, I'm plugging along. So I do have lots of haul. I got a whole table full of haul. So Pretty Southern has been just Miss uh, Stitching Away, Miss Quilt Bag Lady. And I just, oh, I just felt like I needed one of hers because Linda Jo's so cute. And she even gave me, I love the inside. The inside looks like cross stitch fabric. Here's the inside, isn't that cute? You watch Pretty Southern, you know that. And then she gave me one of her little strawberry bags. So I got a little strawberry trash bag. So excited about that. Oh, and then McKenna. McKenna. So it started with McKenna, I think, maybe. Or maybe it was Fiber Talk. Maybe it was Gary talking about. Sarah Brazier sampler and it was there at the attic and they talked and talked about it and then they had the fiber talk and they showed it and oh, it's so pretty so I just had to have one and I and I have not because look how pretty it was wrapped from the attic print like a package and I thought oh I'm not gonna open it yet so I'm gonna open it now with all you guys so here it is Sarah Brazier, what's it called? Sarah Brazier 1829, the 2018 Queen of the May. I don't know, you know guys, I'm a, I'm a sucker for, it's a limited edition, because this is a, a limited and special edition, celebrating the kings and queens of Great Britain. I'm a sucker when people say that. Like when you guys show things on, when you show things on your videos and oh, it was a, it's a limited edition piece, or it was just for this, and you could only get it for a limited time. I'm, ooh, I'm like, that like gets me going. I'm like, ooh, I need to get that. So it's got this cool bookmark with all the key. I'm in trouble though, because I'm not sure. This calls for swa, calls for swa silks. I don't know if I wanna do it with swa silks, because I'm cheap. But look at this book, holy cow. Check that baby out. Let me see if it's got it. I haven't even looked at it. I was kind of thinking, oh wait, here. I was kind of thinking that I might not, I might not do the whole thing at first. Like maybe I'll pick out little things from this and make some little doodads. Like, um, the bass, the middle here, the basket. That maybe I would just do, make a little pillow of that middle. I don't know, there's lots of little things in there. You know, like, look, this, this tree, or this planter, and those birds. 
you know, that would be fun just to do a little pillow or a pin keep or something of that. So I'll have to look at it and let you know what I, what I come up with. I don't know what order I got these in, so I'm just going to show you. So here, I'll show you this. This just came today. I was so excited. My son says, hey, mom, you got two packages because we had one son still here. I was like so excited because I couldn't, I was like, ooh, what packages do I have? What did I order? What's coming? And I forgot that my Just Another Button Company monthly order came. And they've got me over a barrel. I just want you to know, they really have me out of the barrel. So I got an email from them saying, hey, you could you could get this, this one. So there's a Halloween pattern that should be coming. Unless it's in here. No, that was in here. I'm just supposed to be getting a Halloween. That if you ordered the Halloween thing, then you get the you get the buttons. I ordered it. It should be coming. And then somebody, I wish I knew who, somebody showed this. Check out. I I just think it really looks like I think it looks like the Hocus Pocus girls. I really do. And maybe it's meant to be, and I'm a dork that I didn't realize that. But these buttons are just adorable because they're all wearing a couple of them. The cat has goggles on, and two of the witches have goggles. I think it was Pam and Steph who enabled me on this one. Here's the little goggles. It's just adorable. It's just adorable. So, so I have that to do. Be excited about that. I don't have very many Halloween pieces. I don't know that I have any Halloween pieces. So then I've gotten some magazines. So I got this one. I just love those flamingos. They're pretty. And you can see I'm going to do... Um, I've got my postmarks. Okay, first one I postmarked. So let's go to this. It came with this bee kit. I love that bee. And I love this honeycomb right here. So then what kit, what was in the mail was, was this. And I'm waiting to show that because these kind of tie together. It's bees. And the little card says, you are so beautiful. It always comes with these adorable little cards. But oh my gosh. Hang on, I haven't opened it yet. But it came with little teeny tiny black buttons. And little teeny tiny yellow buttons. And then big buttons of different yellows. And these, these ones are always hard to open at first. So what do we got? I got little bees. And big bees. Oh! And medium bees. And a honeycomb. I don't know what that is. It looks like a person. I don't know what that is. Anybody know what that is? Kind of looks like somebody with their sunglasses down looking over their eyes. Like I do with my reading glasses. Um, there's some little flowers in here too. Oh, here's another little bee. Do I show that one? Look at that teeny tiny bee. So. I need to get something done. I need to use these buttons, don't I? They're so pretty to look at though. Okay, so on to the magazine. Check out these fish. I don't know that I have anybody to make those fish for war, but I think those fish are so cool. I love the colors. And then these boxes are pretty cool. These sewing boxes. And, all right, there's some alphabet birds. I have many people who, friends who like birds. Mm. And then these hearts and flowers are really pretty, especially that teapot. Just a quick little stitch. Oh, and then this one. Oh my gosh. I showed this to my husband. He goes, you have got to stitch that. Sun, sand, and sea. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. 
I need to go back to the beach. And I haven't, I haven't marked this one yet. Whoops, made a mess. I haven't marked this yet, but I got this one too. I'll have to show this next time. And this came with Wish You Were Here. Little mountains. The colors are pretty, just like in the other one. But I'll mark that. I'll go through this one and then let you know if I find anything good in there. All right, what's next on haul? Oh, so when I was working on, I was working on Let Freedom Ring, and I'm working, working, working on it, and I thought I didn't have two threads. Calico Kitty and Old Covered Bridge. And so I called Keepsakes and said, hey, can I have these threads? They're like, sure, you can have these threads, no problem. Well, you know, we'll send them to you. And then I had knee high and I got my threads for knee high finally. Aren't they pretty? So I can't wait to stitch that so I could have it done for next year. Funny thing about this is funny thing about this. So I waited and got these when all my order came in. And then I was cleaning up my bedroom and I found the whole pack with all the colors that I needed. And I, I, had, them. I had them. My husband's like, oh yeah, that's hilarious. And then, look at what I got. This is by The Work Basket, Quaker Halloween. Oh, that bat. I just love that bat. The owl's pretty cool too. But that bat, I love him, love him, love him. And I got the next two I didn't have in the farmhouse series. So there's that, and then one last thing. So I had told you guys a while back that I saw in the Primitive Stitcher and Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher, is that what it's called? Or Primitive Stitcher and Punch Needle, whichever the magazine. There was a big spread on, crap, my brain stopped. Hang on a second. Tomorrow's Heirlooms and Glen Ellen. And I said, hey, who wants to go? I want to go up there. And a bunch of people said that they wanted to go. And don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna let me tell you. So I, um, Vonna Pfeiffer introduced it, introduced it, introduced me to Suzanne Denton, who is on Instagram, Hawkeye Mom. There might be a number or two with that, but Hawkeye Mom. Um, introduced me to her, and she doesn't live super far from me, like an hour and a half, maybe we're far apart. So we met at the Fancy Works Retreat in Indiana, and I we said we'd get together. So I contacted her this summer. I said, let's go to Tomorrow's Heirlooms. So we met up. And I didn't think I'd ever been to Tomorrow's Heirlooms. I looked in that magazine and looked at the beautiful, their beautiful front of their store and like, I've never been there. And then I was cleaning up my, in my sewing room and I found their card. I'm like, I have their card, but that front of the store, unless I'm losing, like totally losing my mind, didn't look familiar to me at all. Well, I'm right, it didn't look familiar to me because they moved. They were in this cute, little tiny shop and now they're in a really big shop and Suzanne and I walked in there and that's her LNS that's where she goes but I was like a kid in a candy shop I, I didn't know what to do with myself it was like holy cow holy holy cow there was so much stuff I had to like look and look and look and then I had to like I don't know like put my head down to kind of regroup because there was so much to look at and it was killing me it was just killed me because I promised my husband, I promised my husband the week before, I was going to only stitch from stash. I wasn't going to buy any patterns. I was going to buy thread and I was going to buy fabric. I was not going to buy any more patterns. Shh, don't tell him. I broke my promise. Not, But not real bad. I didn't break it really bad. I didn't. Not really bad. 
crinkle, crinkle. All right, so what did I get? What did I get? Let's see. I did get fabric. I did get thread. So let's show you. Oh, and I got a couple patterns, but nothing huge. Nothing huge. Okay, so my niece loves The Wizard of Oz, and Minnie Gray was stitching this. And I love Minnie's color conversion she made. It's like The Wiz. You've got it. If you, if people, if you haven't seen the movie The Wiz with Michael Jackson and Diana Ross, rent it. Go see it. You know, rent it. What's it? What do, what do I want? Prime time? Not prime time. That thing on your that you could pay for 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 Prime membership. What is that called? I don't know. I'm so technology and stupid. Um, but anyways, what is that called? My husband always makes fun of me because we have Sirius Radio now. Sirius Radio? Yeah, we have Sirius so I can watch, listen to the Cubs when we can't hear them on the radio. And I keep calling it Xfinity. He goes, it's not Xfinity. It's Sirius. I'm like, I don't care. It's whatever comes through my radio. So I got this. So I had to get the Treasure Berry. I've never had Petite Treasure Berry before. So I got that for her shoes. And then I'll show you the fabric I got, I think. Let's see, what did I buy? So here's some little things of fabric I bought. I don't think I own any like green, green fabric. So I got some green. I just thought they were fun. And then I got some of this. And then she has a huge selection of Jabco buttons and they're like easily accessible. They're in these great drawers. And so I was playing, looking. Let's see, I got a present I have to put away, can't show. So I got Halloween little buttons. So I got Frankenstein. And I got, apparently this is a mummy. There's a mummy. I got a cool bat. I got, oh, it's a vampire. And I got, oops, I got two little pieces of candy corn. Like, little pieces of candy corn. So, very excited about those. And then, I don't know if I own this. I probably own this pattern. I probably got it for free. Um, this hands-on design, hands-on design Farm Fresh. You got that free if you bought the pins and the fabric. So, sucker, I did that. I got some, I got some little needles, and then, I got. For 50 cents 50 cents people I got this prairie schooler Mary had a little in I got this prairie schooler this is called I have a name prairie schooler fairy 1994 And here, here's another fairy, 50 cents. I couldn't pass those up. You nope, know, they're 50 cents. And then these were only a dollar. You can't pass these up for a dollar. Well, two dollars, like a dollar fifty. Okay. This is, if you remember, this is the snow. Well, maybe you don't remember because I haven't shown it in a video. But this is a snowman that I've made. I have a snowman and a Santa that go together. It was a homespun collectible. Very excited about that. And then I got winter. I got Halloween. And I got spring. Those pretty? So I thought those were kind of cool. So not, you know, I didn't go too crazy. Right? I don't think I went too crazy. Oh, oh, and I got spring. I didn't, so I guess, I didn't find summer. They didn't have summer. Anybody has summer, they're willing to part with it. I'd love to have it. I could we, we could work out a trade. So that's all that I have for you guys. I hope that all of you are well. Um, thank you if you are a subscriber. I'm not. I don't know where to look today. I'm like wacky. Um, welcome if you're new to my channel. Happy to have you here and happy to see you. I hope you'll go watch my. Um, video that I made with Dave's mom. She's so funny. She keeps asking me when it's going to go viral. And I'm like, 
I don't think it's going viral. I don't off of YouTube. I don't, I don't think so. Sorry. Um, but she keeps asking about it. <laughs> and then she was like, Oh my gosh, I, where did you find that little old lady? Do oh, my jacket was kind of hanging off my shoulder. She was so cute, but she's so excited. She just loves, loves, loves floss tube and these videos and she loves watching them and loves all the comments loves the comments that you uh, people said about her afghans she doesn't she's so um m humble and modest about her afghans because she doesn't think that they're anything special they are something very special especially because she made them and she's so sweet so i will keep showing her afghans i think probably if i made I'd have to make a video every day, maybe for a month and a half before I would be able to show you all the Afghans she's made for us. That's a lot. And she has, and you saw all hers if you saw the video. And Dave's sister has the one who kept saying, I want that one. I told Dave's niece that she needed to watch that video and have alcohol with her and to take a shot every time her mom says, I want that one because they would be drunk by the end. Yeah, but that's Dave's sister, and she's so much fun. So I hope everybody's well. Um, if your kids have started back to school and you're happy about that, that's awesome. I hope they have a great year. If your kids have started back to school and you're sad because they're growing up, I totally get it because with my last one going to college, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm weird. He's, he's so excited. He's so happy. He was so happy at school and that they had activities today going on and, and he's been in the dorm since Friday night and he got a great roommate and we got to meet their parents and they were both alumni as well. Um, he's just so happy. He's just happy to be there and, and excited to get started. So we can't, I can't really be sad, although the house has a new quiet that I don't like. It happens every time the boys leave. So if you're a mama whose kids have left for college, you totally understand that and I'm, I'm sorry. Um, it'll get better. It'll get so much better. So um, happy school year. Get to go all five days this week and it'll be good. I was so happy to see my students and and see the see the smiles on their face when they saw me and and that was very exciting. Some that you know when you work with students who have intellectual and developmental disabilities sometimes with some of them it's hard to know you know what are they thinking? How are they feeling? You know are we making a connection? And um, with one one student in particular, he came he came, he got up when I walked in the room and came right over to me. And I thought he wanted to, I, he had like had his arms out like he was gonna hug me, and he did knuckles instead. So that was that was really cool. That was a lot of fun. So this is my see. I started at the high school in the fall of two thousand nine. So. Uh, I can't do the math. I think it's my 10th year starting there. I think, I don't know. I can do the math. Um, Stephanie will do the math for me, because math, just because math. Um, but I hope you're all well. Have a great week. I will try really hard. My goal is two times a month. That's going to be my goal. I know, I wish I could do it more, but, oh my gosh. I don't know. Maybe we will. We'll see how this year goes. Sorry, I'm like, I'm like totally rambling. Sorry. 